Hi everybody, I'm Todd McKim and welcome to CalBears.com. On a day in which the Bears and their fans celebrated the most famous touchdown in the history of Cal football, the play back in 1982, the Bears this year couldn't find the end zone against the Stanford Cardinal. 21 to three as the Bears lose the ax for the third consecutive year. The story was in the trenches as Stanford defensively held the Bears to just three total net yards running the football. Meanwhile, Stanford was very balanced offensively and defensively, and as a result, they win the Axe for the third consecutive year. After the contest, we talked to head coach Jeff Tedford and some of the players about the game. You know, offensively, we just couldn't, couldn't get in the flow at all. You know, we gave the ball up twice, and they capitalized on it with two touchdowns. Uh, I thought our defense played well. Uh, we let a couple plays get by us, but for the most part, I thought the defense played well. But offensively, we, we couldn't get anything going. We, we couldn't establish any run game. And we had a hard time protecting the passer. And so it, uh, you know, it just, it, it, we couldn't get in the flow at all. We knew that was going to be a big part of the game, field position. Um, yeah, they had a little better than we did. But defensively, we could have made it, uh, could have made a couple of interceptions we could have had. And there's a couple of things that we could have did better to prevent that. So uh, it was just a overall, overall, we just didn't do what we should have done. Yeah, they throw to their tight ends. Their tight ends are some of their main targets. And, uh, we uh, struggled to have good eyes on some plays, and uh, we just got to make sure uh, that we, you know, read our, our keys next week and focus on what we need to focus on next week to get better. You know, going on the road, it's going to be a difficult environment, uh, very hostile environment to go into. Very good defensive team again. Um, we've got to do a good job as, as a coaching staff to put our players in a position to be successful, get our guys a little bit healthy, try to recover and, and go in there and compete hard, which I know we'll do. We like playing at night. We seem to do kind of good at night, and uh, probably going to be cold out there. So uh, it's going to be a fun, fun environment for us. I've never been to Utah, so it's going to be fun for me. But we just have to uh, focus this coming week and just make sure we're ready. As a senior, you just got to rally guys and make sure that they keep their heads up and that they uh, focus on the, uh, the task at hand, and that's uh, the next game. And so um, just making sure everybody comes out to work hard every week. We'll definitely, you know, talk about putting this behind us and because there's more football to be played for sure, you know, and so um, it's going to be really important that we have short memories of this, but we take the lessons learned uh, where we can improve and um, and then get ready to go play Utah. So now the Bears have their backs against the wall. They have uh, three wins. They need three more to be bowl eligible. The next opportunity to get a win will be back out on the road as they face the Utah Utes in Salt Lake City Saturday evening. For CalBears.com, I'm Todd McKim.